So uh, this is James Pepper, the chair of the Cannabis Control Board. It's June 1st, 2021 at 9.30. And I'd like to call this special meeting of the Cannabis Control Board to order. Um, I'd say just a quick word about special meeting for the benefit of people that are watching. Um, we heard from uh, Michelle Anderson, the chief of the uh, General Counsel Administrative Law Division last week, that until we adopt a regular meeting schedule, we should operate under the special meeting rules. And so I'll probably re repeat myself tomorrow at, a, at our more um, at a larger meeting. But um, from now, we're going to try and give the public as much notice as possible. But we are operating under the special meeting rules and the notice rules associated with those. So. Um, the purpose of this meeting um, is to uh, discuss the, our interviews with our executive director finalists. Um, we met with them at our, the last meeting of the Cannabis Control Board uh, last Thursday, the 27th, and um, we decided at that time that it'd be good for us to just take the weekend to think about our interviews and reflect on them and come back today and have a discussion about who we wanted to advance and make an offer to. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take public comment and then go into executive session to have that discussion. Our plan is then to invite our finalists to our meeting on Wednesday um, and uh, negotiate hopefully a conditional offer that we can extend to them, um, to that person. And um, if they accept, um, there's a little bit of a back end process that uh, our Department of Human Resources has to do before um, we can actually uh, extend a final offer. So um, hopefully that'll happen this week and uh, we will be posting our agenda for our meeting um, tomorrow momentarily. And I think with that, are there any comments from um, Julie or Kyle? No? Thank you. Okay, well, I'd like to open to uh, public comment then. Um, and uh, I do see a hand up. Nellie, would you mind um, unmuting um, David Templeman? Or David, if you can unmute yourself, feel free. Thank you very much. Um, I spoke at the last meeting briefly about my concerns with indoor cultivation, um, not to say that it shouldn't be done, but uh, the social, economic, and environmental catastrophe that it could be uh, to, to the emerging cannabis market in Vermont, given how small the marketplace is and how uh, capable indoor cultivation can, can, can be in producing large amounts of cannabis it will really keep out a lot of uh, outdoor cultivators. Um, you know, looking at the market caps for for the potential market uh, for the potential sale of cannabis in Vermont. Um, you know, it's not a large uh, a marketplace. Um, one single twenty five thousand square foot indoor uh, commercial operation could eat up anywhere from ten to thirty percent of the existing market. So um, I, I just want to continually plant, plant these seeds um, and suggest we need to be very cautious about how indoor cultivation and larger indoor cultivation operations, specifically commercial indoor cultivation operations, can impact the possibility, the ability for small cultivators, especially in my region of the Northeast Kingdom, from participating in this. We, we don't want to see what happened with hemp, where a lot of people go out there, spend a lot of money to develop a crop, only to find that the market is flooded with hemp, right? So uh, in, in cannabis, we've seen this happen in California. We've seen this happen in other states where uh, a market opens up, everybody rushes in, all of a sudden there's more of the product than the market can handle. Um, and if, if this is a social justice issue, we don't want to see the people who are um, being put in a position where they can appreciate this being hurt by this. So I, I leave it at that. Those are my words this time. Thank you very much. Thank you, David.
Thank you, David. And David, I would just say um, we it's not our intention to ignore you or make it seem like we're not listening. It really I is that. that we're not in a position quite yet um, to dive into the substance of environmental and energy use, but we will be forming a subcommittee on that very quickly and diving um, deeply into that issue and, and every other aspect of Act 164 and S25. Thank, thank you for acknowledging that. I, I don't feel in any way dissuaded by, you know, I, I understand that this is really early and right now you're just dealing with procedure and hiring, but I just want to put it out there starting now. Great. So, and, and I'll be, I'll be around. You'll see me. <laughs> thank, thank you very you. much. Very much very much appreciated. I have a David. quick question, uh, David, before you jump off. I missed part of what you said. Um, you said the statistic that you said about eating up 30% of the market. Could you say that again? I missed the beginning of what you said. Right. So um, looking at market analysis, not, not my own, but um, there's a range of anywhere between 75 million and 230 million projected uh, gross sales in uh, the coming year. So, um, you know, I extrapolated some um, uh, square footage basis of, of production and I came up with a, uh, a statistic and I mean, take it with a grain of salt. My math is usually pretty good, though. But, you know, uh, so the statistic is that a, uh, a 25,000 square foot of indoor cultivation could impact the um, supply anywhere from nine to 28% or 10 to 30%, depending on you know, how we're looking at this and what the actual numbers of production are. So what I'm suggesting is even one commercial grow, that's 25K, that's not large. Uh, Massachusetts has one company with 270,000 square foot canopy area, one, ca one company. They, they would be able on their own to produce more cannabis than Vermont would be able to sell, just one company. So 25,000 K from a commercial standpoint is actually quite small, uh, but could impact the marketplace anywhere from 10 to 30%. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, David, <clears throat> David, quickly, just in reference to the market analysis that you're, um, that you're looking at, I was wondering if you might be able to fill out our, our public input form and steer us in the direction of that market analysis right now. And this is for everybody on the phone. We're working on um, <clears throat> getting the ability to upload a PDF onto our public input form. But if you and maybe this is in a PDF and not in a shareable URL um, that you're looking at, but if you can share a website link on our public input form, if you have the time. Um, and ability to to share that with us, it would um, certainly uh, be interesting to me. I, I'd be happy to. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any additional public comment? Feel free to just raise your hand if you're on the phone. Um, you can unmute yourself using star six. Okay, well, um, again, for the benefit of the people that just joined, um, this meeting um, today is really about uh, um, going into executive session for the three board members to choose a finalist um, for our executive director. And hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have that finalist and we're gonna invite them to our meeting tomorrow, um, agenda to be posted shortly. Um, and to extend and negotiate a conditional offer so that we can um, get a move on with the hire and hopefully have that done very soon. So this is kind of a quick, quicker meeting today uh, and mostly an executive session, unfortunately, but um, um, that's kind of the purpose of it. And we will be having a, while it's technically a special meeting, a more regular meeting tomorrow that will be more substantive than, um, than today. So if there's no further public comment, I would entertain a motion to go into executive session to discuss our executive director finalists. Seconded. Well, I'll I'll move then. So moved. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 
Aye. Uh, okay. Um, so I guess before we go, sorry, is when we come back, we will come back just to adjourn. So for the benefit of the people watching, there's not going to be any more substance to this meeting today. Um, but we will come back to adjourn after uh, after we're, we're finished with executive session. So with that, do you all want to meet in the other room, um, so to speak, uh, in two minutes? See you on the other side. OK, <laughs> sounds good. And Nellie, can you pop up the uh, notice on, on this screen? Take the message down and uh, start the re recording. Thank you, Nelly. Okay. All right, we're recording. Great. Well, um, we are out of executive session. It's now 10 after 10 in the morning. Um, and at this point, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? Seconded. Seconded. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, thank you, Nellie, and uh, thank you, Orca Media, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.